Hello everybody. So in our next video on Greg Shorthand, uh, we will be covering uh, the uh, sections 32 and 33 of chapter one. So Greg, the Greg Manual is a it's kind of an interesting book in that you can reference it either by the section numbers. So you start at section one and go all the way until the final, uh, the final section, which I don't know off the top of my head, but I have my book right here and I'm checking it. We have section what is the very last section it was 300 something if i'm not yeah, 248 248 so there are 248 sections total and then those sections are broken up into both chapters and then also units okay so right now we're we're just going to be covering the sections that's our method for working through the text so you see that section 32 is a reading and dictation exercise and then section 33 is going to be um is going to be a writing exercise, I believe is what they call it. Let's see here what they call it. Writing practice. So we will be um, taking the, these, uh, these uh, sentences and transcribing them into Greg shorthand, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull up the first set of notes. And if you like this sort of content, if you appreciate uh, this old approach to fast writing, you know, where it, everything just isn't text to speech and the, you know, the computer does all the work for you, but you appreciate some of the rigor that Greg Shorthand has to offer, then you like the idea that, uh, you know, a, a, one human hand is able to capture that much information that quickly, then consider leaving a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and uh, let's Let's see if we can revitalize the world of shorthand and bring it back. Maybe not as a as a matter of commerce; those days are far behind us. But at least we would be able to appreciate it for what it is in the nuanced, beautiful form of writing, with a very rich history. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the practice. So, right about there. So. Hopefully you are able to see this text on the right hand side. If not, then you do have access to the manual. Um, uh, it's on my GitHub repository with all of these documents. You can print it off if you want it. It's about it's a 200 page document. Um, so if you wanted it for your own records, you could or I believe it's a I believe it's an indexed document. So you could also search through it. Um, but anyway, uh, so Hopefully the uh, the sh strokes are not too are not too small for you to read. Okay, if on YouTube if the if the resolution is dropped too much, you can always bump it up to 1080, and then it appears pretty good. So let's go ahead and start typing out what is here in in Greg. Here we go. So very first sentence. Your or our. Uh, actually, it would, it would just be R. Our country will like you to be great in aim and in deed. And indeed, our country will like you to be great in aim and deed. Hopefully, I'm. Yep, just want to make sure that I'm, my uh, my camera isn't getting in the way. Next sentence. He added that the. And that's probably too far. He added that the that he added that the um, money. I believe that one was. See, I've got to work. Yeah, he yeah he added that the money would be needed today. 
he added that the money would be needed today. They, so see here, they meant that the uh, man would um, receive, would remain, would remain, would remain here a month. Did they not? Question mark. Uh, and then that is yours truly or uh, actually it's what it's what what time of day was it that he was it that he met you another question mr earl Mary Keller would like to take a little time would like to take A little time uh, to go to the meeting. At uh, of the of the to the meeting of the market league. I believe some of these some of these words. I don't. I don't really know exactly what they're trying to say. I'm uh, uh, the marketing league, you can see. So uh, part of it is some extrapolation and trying to contextualize what is being said. Uh, so would like Mr. Uh, Earl Mary Keller, and hopefully I'm looking at that right. That is Mary, I believe. I was I was puzzling over that for a little bit like is that really is that word really Mary um, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not um, I'll see if I can hover or I can't highlight but I can oh I think I can uh, draw a rectangle so if I go to control shift R and if I highlight that word right there so you hopefully you can see that yes good so that's the word that I'm kind of wondering about. Anyway, let's go back to our text. Go to the meeting of the marketing league. I'd like to take a little time to go to the meeting of the marketing league at Reading. There, there's another one. We know it's capitalized, so it has to be some city. So this is Reading. I'm going to say it's Reading. Um, and that's the sentence. In. I hear that it is to be a great meeting. Um, Mary will, Mary will gain by it. You, or, uh, yeah, I believe that's you, and I will Two. Are you well, running out of space there? There we go. 
are you willing? And then yours truly. Okay. So then our next sentence, it is, Dear Sir, The grain market is lagging today. The grain market is lagging today. I am not, uh, I am not taking, I am not taking any more grain. I am not taking any more grain. I am not taking any more grain. I guess that could probably be on the same line here. And then there we go. A little bit more of a block quote. As you see, they they're not really particular about the sentences beginning and the sentence beginnings and endings. They sort of just let them all run together. So I likewise will not be too concerned. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Dear sir, the grain market is lagging today. I am not taking any more grain. But, and I think there should be a comma here, so I'll, I'll go to add one. But I will get into the market um, again I will get into the market again uh, at no M what word is that again sometimes I just draw a blank uh, when oh that's when yeah Remember, we just covered that actually in uh, in yesterday's video, one of the brief forms, right? N, N, when. When uh, money is at the mini minimum, and I'm pretty sure at the minimum rate. A final sentence, would you be willing to go in with me? Would you be willing to go in with me? Uh, then, would you be willing to go in with me then? Yours truly all right so that was the reading and dictation um uh, key if you will for greg shorthand uh hopefully you guys can see that text all right it's a little bit small i know so let's see maybe let's just make it just a tad bigger so i'll need to make it bump it up to 14 probably select oh and of course that just ended up moving all of the text over the wrong way, so control shift R and move it so you guys can see it. Now there's a little bit of conflict, but uh, yeah, there we go, kind of. That's kind of the way it's supposed to be. All right, I'm not gonna waste any more, any more of your time on that. All right, so that is a uh, uh, shorthand or section 32, and now we're going to cover 33. So we're going to try and cover two sections per day. Okay, so what is our next? What is the next set? Uh, let's go ahead and close, close this down. And that is the other. That's the correct answers right there. Go ahead and minimize that. So now we're just looking at our textbook once again. 
scrolling down and we now have the writing practice okay so let's go ahead and pull up a copy of those notes this is section 33 section 33 all right so you can see the what we need to cover hopefully that's all in view if not, I might have to resize that just a bit. There we go. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. So, number one. You will need a keen, you will need a keen, I keep on hitting the wrong button. All right, there you go. A keen, and then memory is just the let me just confirm here. Yep. Okay. So it's the one of our MEM strokes, right? So let's go ahead and do keen once more. Keen memory when you go to the market today to when you take the grain To the mill, you can get your money. Three. Many. So many is just same as money, actually. Many of our men will go to the train in the... In the rain to greet the team. Oh, that's sweet. Even though it's raining. I am not any more eager. So this is number four. I am, I believe M is, I am not eager, I am not any, I am not any more, so any more eager to be in debt To you then you are number five I am ready to go
the limit in getting you the money you need. So actually, the you and need could be phrased together. They said the pronouns, right? You need. Number six. He had a great desire to read, but he had little time, but he had and there's little time and his reading was limited so the time is a little bit too big there we go Maybe a little smaller time and his reading was limited reading was limited number seven I am not willing to go by train I am not willing to go by train but you can make me A minimum rate by air and rail eight. The data you need will be ready by the middle and mid md md hmm. I'm trying to remember let's see here let's take a look at middle in the notes this is number, yep, we'll, we'll call that middle. If it has to change, it has to change later, but we'll leave it for right now. So number eight, in the middle of the month. Nine, the mill was then making a good metal tag. Was then... Making a good metal tag at the uh, what am I missing? There we go at the rate, because they both travel in the same direction, at the rate of 80 a uh, and minute is at the rate of 80 a minute. Number 10. In his dream, he was being attacked. So he was being and this is not a brief form, so we'll add the the ED on 
top as opposed to a small stroke. The small stroke is usually reserved for brief forms only. Okay. So in his dream, he was being attacked in the dark. So in the dark by an enemy, by an enemy. And then finally, our little uh, copy work art, um, I guess you'd say it's a letter or a memo, something like that. So here we go. Dear sir, I am eager. I am eager to and eliminate, eliminate. Without any more delay, without any more delay, the error made in the minimum grain market, the error made in the minimum grain market to Erie. I can meet you at Erie any day you desire. I can meet you at Erie any day you desire. Make sure you guys can see that. Oh, it did cut it off, didn't it? I I thought it would be a little too close. Let me go ahead and put it down here. Any day you desire. My time is limited and I cannot be there more than a day. So see if I can do that in one sentence. My time is limited and I cannot be there be there more than an hour, no, more than a day. It would be well to get all the data. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have room. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, so uh, more than a day. It would be well. So it, it would be. Oh, that's a little bit more cute. There we go. It would be well to get all the data. So to get all the data in hand by the time, by the time you are ready to go. I think we might just make it. I will meet you any day you can be there. I will meet you any day you can be there. You can be there. Yours truly. Oh, we just made it. We just made it. That was, that was pretty close. All right, so that is the uh, last section of chapter one. Woohoo! We have completed chapter one. Congratulations. You now know more shorthand than most people.
which is not saying much, but at least you know the first chapter. So hopefully this was useful to you. Um, and uh, so in uh, tomorrow we will begin chapter two, chapter two, so the very first uh, or the first two sections of chapter two, which you're going to be covering are downward strokes. We've already seen some of them like uh, P for put, B for B, buy and but. And um, but yeah, we're going to cover them in a, in a little bit more depth. All right. This has been uh, a real pleasure. Um, and uh, if you like this content, consider giving the video a like on YouTube, uh, share it with your friends, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If, if you're really into shorthand, uh, we're a small number. And uh, so I would, I would love to hear from you. So um, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.